What's up guys, Ariel for the Book of Alice channel here. Thank you so much for supporting and blowing up that recent Obscure Theory Iceberg videos. I appreciate y'all. I'm currently working on another part of the series, so be on the lookout for that. Either way, today we go over 10 new Mandela effects that people have recently noticed in pop culture, media, and or in life in general. Some of these may sound outrageous, but remember, these aren't my concepts, so I can only explain what I find. So if someone finds something better, feel free to comment. Consider subscribing to the channel as well at the end of the video if you enjoy it and like the topics that I cover. Without further ado, let's begin. Fruit Loops Flip Flop You may be thinking, I already know this Mandela effect, why is he bringing it up again? Well, trust me, there's a new update to this. How do you remember Fruit Loops being spilled? Is it fruit spilled with two O's or fruit spelled correctly? No funny business. Fruit Loops is spilled with two O's, uh, spelled incorrectly for creativity's sake. Though this has tripped tons of people up as they remember already going through this Mandela effect once. Some remember that in the old Mandela effect, Fruit Loops was spelled correctly with the U and the I, and that the Mandela effect was that people misremembered it being spelled with double O's, like this of course. This Reddit user's reaction to the change states, wait, WTF, I remember being shocked that it wasn't spelled fruit with double O's, but it is now actually spelled that way. It's a Mandela effect of a Mandela effect. Something that I'd never believe would happen, and it's crazy to think about. It's got some thinking that we're living in a broken timeline. Some think that the correct answer is flipping back and forth in this current timeline. Brazil 9-11 Dragon Ball Z this one's got a funky title, but let me explain. A lot of people argue that Mandela Fix mainly changed things within the United States and United States culture, but here's one from a different country. This Mandela Fix pertains to people in Brazil on the day of September 11th, 2001. Check out this post of someone from Brazil explaining it. It has a total of 5,000 upvotes. First of all, in Brazil, you typically don't go to school, middle school or high school, doesn't matter, for the entire day. You are in school either in the morning, usually 7.30 a.m. to noon, or in the afternoon, usually from 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Every single person who was a kid in Brazil and was not in school in the mornings on the day of September 11th, tons of people remember watching Dragon Ball Z and having it to be interrupted for the breaking news of the attacks. And I mean everyone. It comes up every single time someone asks, what were you doing when September 11th happened? Except Dragon Ball Z wasn't even on at the time. Someone checked the airing times and compared them to the time when the attacks occurred, and it was definitely not on. Still, a whole generation of kids is 100% sure that they were watching Dragon Ball Z when the news broke out. Edit. Everyone's saying this isn't real and they edited the timetables after the fact. You sound like conspiracy theorists. Look up Occam's Razor. This has been thoroughly discussed by Brazilians on the internet. It's not something new. Like someone else said in this thread, the TV show that played Dragon Ball Z wasn't even aired on that day. Scary Movie 2, Take My Strong Hand. In Scary Movie 2, there's a bit in which Chris Elliott plays a character that has a small, mutilated hand that grosses everybody out, due to the fact that he uses it while preparing dinner for his guests. Now, there's a very specific scene in which someone is hanging right outside the window and struggles to get back inside. This is where the Mandela effect kicks in. Some vividly remember Hansen, the character with a deformed hand, stating, Here, take my strong hand, when offering to help him. Although he never says this, he simply states, here, take my hand. Although some recall reenacting this scene multiple times, with the punchline being that the strong hand is obviously the non-mutilated one, but instead he uses the mutilated one which people are uncomfortable with. There are even memes depicting him stating strong hand. Let me know if you guys recall it always being this way. Dragons in the Bible. You know... I remember there being serpents, snakes, and other beasts found in the Bible, vaguely, but not specifically dragons. That's where this Mandela effect comes into play. A large group of people do not remember there being any mentions of dragons in the Christian Bible, although dragons are mentioned at least 35 times in the King James Version, the most popular version of the English Bible. Some people argued this, saying that they only appeared in the Revelation chapter, the final book of the New Testament, the only apocalyptic book in the Bible that is considered canon. Though this is entirely wrong, as the word dragon appears 21 times in the Old Testament alone. 
This has left some people confused and searching for an explanation. Some have concluded that these dragons were in fact describing dinosaurs. Same thing goes for the creature Leviathan, found in the Book of Job, a massive powerful sea monster that some believe was a sea dinosaur, or factually known as Mosasaurs. What do you guys think? Does anyone remember these creatures being in the Bible, or were they added later? Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. This one is definitely controversial. Most of you guys have probably already heard the song Smooth Criminal by King of Pop Michael Jackson, right? Well, how do you guys remember the bridge of the song going? Is it you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal? Is that how you remember it? Well, it actually states in the original recording, you've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. The line simply repeats, nothing different. Although many others remember the word struck being used in the second line, here are some covers of the song made by people that remember it this way. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Though I'd like to note that in some live performances, such as concerts and such, he does appear to say struck by in the second verse, but not in the first verse, which is a subtle and unexplainable change, explaining maybe why some people remember it this way. Though some dedicated MJ fans still remember the original recording containing the lyric. Take a listen to the Argentinian concert version at the 320 minute mark, more than halfway in. Converse logos. This one's sure to spark something in the comments, as I see a lot of people arguing about it online already. So you guys know the famous shoe brand Converse, right? And their signature Chuck Taylor model? Well, some people remember the logo facing the outside, like many other shoe brands in order to advertise the brand even more. Though the logo was always on the inside face of the shoe. Yeah, this has some people tripping out. But not all, as some distinctly remember it being a unique feature to the Converse Chuck Taylor model, due to it facing the inside of the shoe. Spirited Away Scene If you don't know, Spirited Away is a 2001 Japanese anime film written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki, a legend and pioneer in the industry. Spirited Away tells the story of a 10-year-old girl who, while moving to a new neighborhood, she enters the world of kami, spirits of Japanese Shinto folklore, after her parents are turned into pigs by a witch. The 10-year-old takes a job working in Yubaba's bathhouse, the witch's house, to find a way to free herself and her parents and return to the human world. A truly majestic and beautiful movie, I might say. Now, this Mandela effect comes from people in Japan who remember a scene in the movie differently. They regard it as the phantom ending. Believed to be part of an extended cut, people scram to find the scene everywhere across the internet, but it sadly led to nothing, as the scene simply didn't exist. In order not to spoil it for you guys, I'm not going to explain the end, but I'll simply say that it ends on the scene where a tunnel is depicted, though most don't remember it this way. They don't remember that it stops there, and they remember that it keeps on going for a few more scenes, as depicted in this Minecraft reenactment of the Phantom ending. So where did it go? Is everyone simply misremembering? Some say that it may have been shown only in the theatrical releases, although this was proven to be wrong by the creator Hayao Miyazaki himself. Shaggy's Adam's Apple Here is something that may surprise you. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, the franchise, has never appeared with an Adam's apple in all of the canon series and media up to 2021, and you may say something like, okay, maybe he doesn't have it all the time, but it definitely occurs when he gulps or states his catchphrase, zoink, right? Nope. It never appears even when he's swallowing or gulping or saying his catchphrase. None of his designs depict him with an Adam's apple, though for some specific scenes from the show, he has shown swallowing with a lump down his throat, which may be an explanation for some of these Mandela fix, although some argue that it is not the way that they recall his Adam's apple being. They recall a more pronounced and defined feature that's more realistic. 
I don't know. It seems like people may be confusing the two. But then again, his original character designs don't have a prominent Adam's apple as people remember. Here's a clip of what people remember him like. <laughs> Dogs playing poker. You guys can probably recall the famous painting of dogs playing poker. Now do you guys recall them wearing green transparent visors in any of the variations of the painting? Well you'd be mistaken due to the fact that in most if not all popular variations they are not wearing anything on their heads at all, let alone a green transparent visor as many people recall them wearing. There is in this one variation in which a single dog is wearing a green hat but it's nowhere close to a transparent visor and they aren't even playing poker. Though this is the closest thing that it may have been confused with. Do you guys recall something similar or is this just a huge mix up? Spongebob had shoelaces. This Mandela effect is in reference to Spongebob's shoes and whether or not they contain shoelaces. Well the simple answer is they don't. Though many people recall Spongebob always depicted with white shoelaces with the bunny rabbit tie method, this was never the case. His original character design depicted him with plain black shiny shoes. Though there is a piece of media where this might derive from. It comes from the loop de loop song performed by band Ween for the series, teaching people how to tie their shoes. Finally depicting a Spongebob with shoelaces. Hello my baby, hello my. This is in reference to the Michigan J Frog tune in which he's dancing and sings the famous line, Hello my baby, hello my what? What does he say after that? Is it darling? If you thought it was darling, you'd be mistaken. It's actually, hello my baby, hello my honey, which tons of people recall differently. I can't find a single version of the song online where the word darling is used instead of honey. If you guys have any versions where this is the case, leave a comment. As one Reddit user put it, I sing this all the time to my pets. Hello my babies, hello my darlings, hello my good time dogs. So yeah, darling for me, I recall it from some old Looney Tune cartoon. I can also recall a frog dancing and doing high kicks while singing it. He also had a top hat. But I could also see Foghorn Leghorn singing it as well. The Last Supper the Last Supper is a mural painting by Leonardo da Vinci. This painting represents the scene of the Last Supper of Jesus with his 12 apostles, as it's said in the Gospel of John, specifically the moment after Jesus announces that one of his apostles will betray him. This Mandela effect touches on a missing object in the painting, that being a gold cup. Many people remember there being a gold cup right besides Jesus, sitting on the table. Although looking at the painting now, there is no gold chalice anywhere on the table. So where is the holy grail? It's on the wall. Yeah, out of everywhere, puzzling tons of people due to it being in a bizarre place. Is this new to you guys or do you guys always remember the cup being on the wall? And one final question. How many wine glasses are there on the table? One, the holy grail. Open your eyes. A single cup. No chalice. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Considering both the Bible and standard. Other than that, thanks for watching and consider checking out my other YouTube videos if you enjoy this one. Later.